Let's go, shall we? Right now, this is Adidas. We are London in association with SBTV, and I'm here with Georgia. Hi. I'm going to ask Georgia a few questions. So, what are your top three moments of the SBTV and the whole kind of way it spanned from Kayleigh Rowland to now being on the shoot of Adidas, we are London. I would say my top three moments. Number one, probably wireless, that was amazing. Uh, it was really intense, uh, but it was amazing training, like just getting thrown in the deep end. Je Kelly Rowland, come on, that was a big deal. That was the first interview I ever did. Uh, wireless, Kelly Rowland, gigs, I'd say, because that was the first time I kind of chilled out, I was more myself with him. Um, yeah, that was a big deal. And um, yeah. I can hear the music. So here we are in Camden on my home turf as it were it does definitely have uh, quite a lot of relevance to me, this general area. Just kind of in uh, what I'd call the market square right now. It's got some nice Indian food. Hello, sir. Hi. Um, it does mean a lot to me. I used to have my own market store right there, in fact. Um, selling, I used to sell kind of like clothes and like stuff that I'd made. And then next to us, we had the, um, the hot cider stall, which is quite handy. So we used to trade like hair clips for drinks, just to get really quite merry by the end of the day so that was quite nice um, I also went to school just up the road afterwards I'd always kind of like get a Chinese like one cup you know come and just like chill down here with the girls I can hear the music I can feel it in my bones the travel in yeah. the inquisitive nature makes you really good into you or do you think it's just I don't know you're naturally curious so it kind of helps you get things out of people yeah. I, I, I think I'm a bit nosy yeah. I like to yeah find out about people I think yeah definitely yeah, you did a lot of comedy as well. That like oh, yeah. that, that yeah. probably part of your confidence. Yeah. <laughs> did, did did any of you come to my yeah, show? Yeah, yeah. Um. yeah. <laughs> it was funny. It was really good. Yeah. Did you do a stand-up course? Yeah, yeah, I did. Um, yes, yeah, stand-up stand comedy was quite nice. So yeah. <laughs> Do you think um, that helped with your like confidence and like dealing with people from like being yeah. on stage and having to just be funny? Like, yeah, I think um, yeah, comedy, stand-up comedy definitely helped. I would do it now, but I just haven't really got the balls. I know you were never really a shy person, but like you know, with <laughs> I'm a flower. What are you about? <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> but does it like you know when you do you ever get nervous interviewing? Like, or do you think that prepared you to not be nervous? I think yeah, my first interviews I really got nervous. I think sometimes you know what? Sometimes I think I'm almost. Sometimes when I don't get nervous, I don't think it's good. So I think it's important to um, get a little bit nervous, yeah. But I think, but then you also kind of have to be relaxed at the middle ground. But yeah, obviously, I think I do definitely still get nervous. Sometimes when I'm waiting around for ages, and if it's someone really big. Uh, but I think the most important thing is just try and connect with them. Just try and make them laugh. Just try and be nice. Um, yeah. Comfortable doing, like, you know, you're in kind of your stomping ground now with Camden. Do you feel like kind of more comfortable doing things around here because you've grown up, like, you know, doing interviews and stuff? I think like London generally, like that's why I chose to not have the uni experience and like you know sacrifice that kind of stuff because I, I've always been really serious about wanting to work. Like I never really wanted to go to uni. I always thought I wouldn't. Like, when I was in sixth form, I was like, you know, I don't have to apply. Like I've got a job. It all like fell through, and I was like, right, like I'm lucky enough to like live here. I'm lucky enough to be born here and like have somewhere you know to stay. I'm just gonna stay here and make it happen, really. So yeah, I think, yeah. The capital is where it's at. <laughs> well, what are your future aspirations and like goals, like like hopes for the future? This is bear weird me asking as well because like I don't the know, but yeah, the tables have turned. The tables have turned. <laughs> I, come a bit forward, people want to get past, you know. Yes, no, not um, that close. Cause it's like I don't like want bear like cool. 
I would say what my future aspirations. I just want to really get better at my job. I feel like I'm improving. Um, I just want to be the best I can be. I want to be super successful. I want SBTV to go global. I know it can and it will. Um, I just think, what am I? F yeah, that's what I think. That's it. Adidas, we are London. Jamal Edwards, SBTV founder and CEO, George um, Lewis Anderson, well everything. Now like, I was gonna introduce you. Listen, bro. Now nah, listen. I said yeah. I was gonna say Jamal Edwards. No, 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 no. Oh my day, she's flipping it. I, you know what? You need to edit that. Well, that is it. That's Jamal Edwards, SBTV founder and CEO. Yeah, yeah. No, I was joking. I right, let me do it again. One more, wait, no, no. One, one more time. Jamal Edwards, SBTV founder and CEO with George Lewis Anderson. Yes. Adidas. We are London. 2000. 10, 2011, everything, all of that. Boom!